I'm Mary. Destry. Jimmy. Hi. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Um, many thanks to Mark, who is on another call at the moment still, for setting this group up. We should have a, a, a reason, reasonable quality call. Um, we restarted the group just apparently what happens is the, um, the caching of Skype affects the quality of the message after a while. So thanks for Mark for doing that. Uh, lost did his, anybody? I think we did just did anybody lost reach Rich Carter or Connor? Um, in fact, I lost Destry there. John, how good is your internet connection? It's good. It's good. You got a high. How, speed? Many, how many people are you working on here? Well, I think we've got um, we've got a fair number. We've got um, we've got 19, but <clears throat> I just don't want to have the drop-offs we've had the last few times, and I just wanted to see if anyone in the group has a really good quality internet connection without any email or anything working. Um, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll, I don't have anything running on my machine at the moment, so hopefully we won't lose any connection. Um, okay. So Regan's just said he can uh, should be able to listen for a while. Um, uh, I'll try him again to see if I can get him in. And we lost Lee. And we're trying to get. Okay, and we'll just see who else comes up. Hello? Hi, Lee, can you hear us? Yes, just fine. Yes, hi, how are you going? Yeah, just fine. I didn't, uh, I clicked on the electric the wrong number, but I don't have the list. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in here, but they're not connected. So Walter's trying to set us right now. I don't know if we can get that all put together. But yeah, I've got, I've got Walter here now. Walter's just come on. And yeah, he's just now trying to get the list. So okay, everything is kind of in chaos here right now. <laughs> all right. It's been a very exciting day. We had a great day today, Frank. We uh, Walter's son is out of jail, and uh, the judge oh, wonderful. is cycling. So great, great day today. Uh, great blessing, and uh, so. Uh, the Lord's been blessed us, Frank, absolutely. And uh, absolutely, we appreciate your efforts and all that you're doing. It means a lot. Well, it, it means a lot to hear that too, Lee. I, uh, that more than anything, that gives me great joy. Thank you. Well, thank you very uh, uh, great news. I gotta, yeah, I we're just uh, very, there's nothing more than seeing that young boy come running out of jail. I mean, they throwed him out of the front door of the jail. <laughs> <laughs> He just had his shorts on. He didn't have no shoes on. He didn't have nothing. They picked him up in his shorts. <laughs> Sounds like Obama <laughs> going to a mosque. <laughs> but you've got to see this judge's face when he says, you know, I don't really understand his paperwork, but as far as I'm concerned, Mr. County Attorney, this case is over. Bam. <laughs> they wanted a contract. We're going to get sued. We're going to get this. We're going to get that. We want to negotiate non-negotiations. <laughs> The judge still kept it and walked out of the courtroom. And so we said, well, we're going to have to go out to the prison, you know, and pick him up and all that kind of stuff. And we drove up and had a handful of clothes for him. He came running out that front door. They had already thrown him out the front door. The only thing he had to sign was a release of his clothes. That was it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. They still, got his, they still got his fingerprints in his picture, but they only took one picture, and they did his print. But we're going to get those back. So. Yeah. No, that's great news. Well, on that um, on that exciting yeah. note, I hear John. John's got another call. John, can you mute, mute while you're just speaking? Is uh, that right? Just just mute and then come back in when you're ready. Um, uh, that's great news. Now, anyone else you want on the call? 
that's not on the list you see, let me know, and what we'll do is I'll send an invite and get them on. So hopefully, Mark has said that he's running late. Yeah, uh, Mark can... is going to be tied up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Walter's going to be able to do. I can try. You right. came in, but I hit the wrong button. If you could call me back, mm. I'm on my cell phone. If you yeah, call me back, absolutely, Lee. We'll, we'll, we'll call you back. Um, what, give you about a minute? Yeah, that'll be fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Right. Hey, hey, John, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Are you on another call? John Mark. John Herndon? Herndon? Yes. Hi. Are, are you, have you got another call happening at the moment? I just, we're just hearing in the background. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get Gary Mather on here. He's trying to call in on Pro Veritas. D could you put his Skype in, and what we can do is invite him to the call? Yeah, I think he's already... I think Mark's got him. Yeah, I, oh, I can I, see him there. Like, I, I added him, him a minute ago. Great. But he oh, didn't... Oh, thanks, thanks, Tom. Yeah, I'm calling him in now. Yeah, he didn't accept your Good contact call. yet, Frank, and I don't think you can phone him in until he accepts it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, can, his, uh, can you please accept so I can add you to the call? Cheers. Frank. I sent him your contact info, Frank. Oh, great. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, well, look, let's... let's um, let me try and... Bring Regan in. He's got to stay muted. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, Is that better? Yes, I have. Great. Uh, uh, I want to inform you that Walter is in the other room. He is on the line, but he has got the mic muted because of the background noise. I understand. And it is, is uh, William able to... No, that's great. I was just going to say, are we, is William going to be on the call? You know, just, just let me know. I've tried him a few times and haven't got him to come up. And I know the unit said that she was unwell, so... Um, well, let, me, let me start then um, by, by just saying how, how happy I am to be here and blessed it is to hear um, of Walter's son being released. I think that's fantastic news and a great blessing. And thank you for letting us know. And I could that is, I couldn't be happier. That is a brilliant piece of news. Absolutely, and uh, we really uh, appreciate all the efforts and the knowledge that we're gaining. And I, I tell you, uh, it was very interesting because uh, one of the little public defenders, she was uh, a very enlightened woman, very intelligent. But once she read one of the pieces of paper that was submitted, she grinned. She says, "This is awesome." <laughs> and it was exciting all of them. She said, but I didn't. Oh, well, I tell you, just and, to put... Uh, it was excited, you know, that she didn't know actually who she worked for. Yes. Well, and, and she was trying yeah. to teach me more, you know. Well, the exciting thing now, Lee, is that I, I, I have no doubt that as the knowledge of the true law... Uh, becomes more and more known those that thirst the most are those like that that still have some uh, of that spark of why they went into law in the first place it hasn't been crushed yet and they're going to be hungry to know would you agree? Yes I agree absolutely because I talked to two attorneys there they were all young you know uh, public defenders and they were absolutely elated. They they, they actually had you, you understand well you know that they have cloaked all of this stuff and they have just taught them procedure issues. Yes. And and that's all they need to follow. And and they're like little robots running around generating money for the you know, for the folk. Yep. And uh, they were they were very excited because they not only felt the power of the document, but the 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 presence behind it. Yes. That they, they felt that what they were doing was wrong. Yes. Even though it was a job. These people had children and families too, and, and day on and day out, I asked one, I said, How do you feel on the end of the day what you have accomplished here? 
She says, not good. I cry. Those people are open to be spiritually touched. The big moment that Jesus gave us to touch those people. <clears throat> they will truly turn away from the dark side and come to the light. They will. And that is a sign for you and a sign for everybody that you know as to what this is and where it comes from. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it, you, 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 you would have to be absolutely uh, oblivious to and totally spiritually dead not to read the document and feel the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Well, incredible things are afoot. Um, just to take it to the other end of the spectrum, um, you may or may not have heard that I don't know the last time a Pope has done this, but there's been an emergency conclave called by the Pope for next week with all the Cardinals being summoned to Rome immediately. Mm -hmm. I think we lost reading because this is the sort of stuff that we can list for. <laughs> <laughs> We lost him, just <laughs> You know what I mean, Terry? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, he's... Uh, look, he obviously lost him, but... Uh, anyway, the, the background of this is... Um, I'm sure he'll come back on in a sec. But, uh, the, the background is supposedly that the Pope wants to talk to them all about child abuse scandals, but <clears throat> I can assure you that that's already been covered... So that's nothing new. Uh, so there must be something else of, of uh, interest to them that they want to uh, discuss. Otherwise, they wouldn't be calling them together in such an urgent fashion. And we'll wait and see what that is. But um, I, I, I truly don't expect anything good to come out of Rome. Um, never has, never will. But it, it is... It is, it is worth noting that even at the most senior levels of the system uh, something's afoot yeah yes I agree now um, you know I'm not privy to what's happening in other spectrums of the uh, of the apparatus obviously the G20 is on at the moment um, obviously the Federal Reserve is doing its quantitative easing Obviously, we're seeing currency wars. Obviously, the Chinese are threatening to sell their bonds. There's lots and lots and lots of things afoot. <clears throat> and I think if we spent too much time uh, watching, and I call them the gods not because I respect them, but because you know they are dealing with such you know power at the moment, present power. But if we spend too much time watching the gods, I think we lose sight of, of what we can do. Um, right. they'll, you know, they'll come, they'll go. They'll, they'll make their mark they'll do what they, the best they can do <clears throat> but I, I know something for certain there's a thirst for true knowledge the likes of which we've not, not seen for a long long time and all of you have the ability to uh, give water to that thirst in what you've seen you've read and what you're doing and I have no doubt the more that you uh, read the more that you exchange, the more that you share, and the more that you show, uh, more and more people will start to wake up to it. No. Um, now, what I've done, just just some housekeeping. So it's a bit, sorry tonight if it's a bit chopped and changed, but I, I want to just pass some ideas by you all now to see if you're happy with this. I, I want to share with you the updates that I've been doing um, with the canons of law I'd like to share with you the updates that have been worked on in terms of the um, the law and the financial system uh, I'd like to also share with you um, practical uh, email that I sent out in getting access to the artwork to help people get their live records as well as their trust IDs and then what I'd like to do is I'd like to really open up to questions and answer questions and explore your thoughts and really um, take that on board to hone and keep focused on the most relevant things you guys feel in your present situations on how we can help more and more people. <clears throat> so does that sound like a plan? Is that okay to do that? 
Can you guys let me know just by tapping into